Texas now swims in 20 billion barrels of crude oil that the United States Geological Survey has discovered in the Pennsylvanian Permian Wolf Camp Shale of West Texas. So report newspapers about the USGS's first evaluation of continuous resources in the Midland Basin Shale. Oil and gas journal readers know swimming in the subject of this evaluation won't get the Lone Star State very far. That 20 billion barrel datum represents not even a bucketful of physical oil. It's an assessment of the mean, undiscovered, technically recoverable resource. From outside the oil and gas industry, the concepts here can be perplexing. Even in the industry, words like resources and reserves fall victim to occasional abuse. But doesn't the adjective undiscovered hint strongly that the number relates to something other than a fluid in which anything, let alone a state, might swim? At least that article didn't report, as several others did, that USGS had discovered in West Texas one of the largest reserves of recoverable oil in the agency's history. In fact, the USGS discovered no oil at all. The agency performs many valuable services, but exploration, an activity essential to discovery, is not one of them. For assessments such as its whopper on the Midland Basin Wolf Camp, USGS instead studies geology, applies scientific theory, and postulates accumulations of oil and gas outside known deposits. The resulting technically recoverable undiscovered resource in this case has a 95% chance of being greater than 11 billion barrels and a 5% chance of being as high as 31 billion barrels. Those numbers do not indicate reserves, which cannot exist before discovery. Anyone writing about these matters should know that or learn it in the course of, for example, asking logical questions about that undiscovered modifier. Alas, the article with the swimming metaphor in its headline compounded the error by reporting that the oil is just sitting there. Worse yet, it appeared in the leading newspaper of a major city in Texas where people really should know better. I'm Bob Tippy, editor of Oil & Gas Journal, and that's the editor's perspective, which appeared first in text at www.ogj.com on November 18, 2016.